All righty guys, coming up on Kennett Hill. I know some of y'all asked about that. There's a sanctuary over there. Water has receded. We're able to walk the median now. We definitely got the trees down and skunks around. <sighs> As y'all remember from yesterday, that sign was a lot farther into water than there, so it's come down a good foot and a half, which is a good sign. Sanctuary, at least. You can see the building now. Water, guys, not that deep. But at least, you know, we're in the high section at this point. I would have done a live stream today, guys, but my phone ate the water the other day, so kind of lost that, but we'll keep going up here and see what else we find. If anybody knows this section, but just past Cannon Hill. Yeah, we're coming up on the lake. Which yesterday, guys, Oh wow, that's come down. It was at the top bar yesterday. So this is some good news, guys. Seeing the levee holds. See a lot of stalled out cars. wash a little bit of the mud out of my shoes. Fishing lure, that's always fun. God, this is sloppy in here. Just so everybody can see. Ronnie, here's the lift station that's not running, you can tell because there's no noise at all. So, that's the one that's not empty in the streets. But as you can see, it's better than it was. I figured another three, four days, the streets will be passable. But yeah, look at the fence, you can see the water line on the fence. That was high. Alrighty guys. Here's coming up on Scanlon Oaks. The power is on because Scanlon Oaks is some of the random bubbling is kind of concerning. Check this out. I hope you guys can see that. So Kids Academy is now empty. This is where we are. It is now away from the building into the drive, which is a good thing. But there still is a lot of water out here. But that's not a bad thing, guys. It's gone down. Whether or not the whether or not the expansion or any of that got water, it's not anybody's business. But you can see, there's no time, no way school's gonna start anytime soon. We got a lot of water and a lot of cleanup to do. As you guys can hear, the AC units are running. We got, oh, check that out, we got a big island. We do have some dry concrete, which wasn't there before. Water's definitely come off the front of the building. I mean, the bike racks are now visible. We're going to see how far up water came. I will say this is a much easier walk in than the other day.
We got sidewalks. The river's probably back in the banks now. In case you guys really wanted to know, it's a good line of debris there. And it's a very good line of debris up there, so it does not look like water got in the building that badly. I can't speak for all of it because you can see a mud line around some of this, so I don't know. Good news is, guys, we got some sidewalks back sidewalks are not that deep what do you say this is what a foot secret forest for anybody who needs to see it And this is when it gets a little bit deep. Where, where are you going, guys? I got gate access, too. Just got to watch out for the uh, And skunks. Just give you guys a, a view of this. That's how deep that water is, guys. That is a good bit of water, isn't it? Here it all comes. The people laugh about big trucks in Texas, but there's a reason for them. We should have asked. Might want to see if we can catch him on the way back though. There's that that uh, minivan that was here when we were leaving. Yes, sir. Man, that's sir. That car's a oh, complete ride off at this point. Guys, at least the center almost back in its banks which would be a good sign because that'll stop draining water into here you've got well the car gives an idea of depth the tires tire deep worth the depth yeah, that, uh, that black car was just just getting there the other day when, when yeah he sure was and i'm guessing he hit a big pocket of water and stalled it out but as you can see guys the water was way up here well, as you remember, and so now we're there's going to be a lot of people hurting after this. A lot of people hurting. Yeah. It'll take a long time. Oh yeah, just to clean up the debris. Hey, this one's out of water finally, but you can see that car. You can see St. Charles Place over there. This is a good sign because all this was underwater. Feel sorry for this guy's a brand new car. And there's just no way around that that doesn't hurt. Still got the favorite place. I don't know if that counts for a 90 day uh, return or not. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Okay, Belvedere Woods seems to be getting higher. We may cut over across this. Because going down, 
Well, the pickup truck is, the tire's now out of the water. That's a good sign. Now loop. Don't know if anybody needs to know, but here you go. That's the best we can show. The echo from no noise whatsoever is quite shocking, guys. In case anybody needs to look, you've got a few, but these do not look near as bad. I just hope everybody turn their sprinklers off. Okay, the other way may have been easier. The other way may have been a little bit easier. Any cars left on the street are gonna be toast. The water looks pretty clean. Trying to walk into high spots of yards. Not that there is many at this point, but I am surprised how cold this water is. You know? But here, guys, I don't know whose house this is. The Lees. You can see they probably got water into the house. There's some over here. This one fared a little better. So we're gonna wait till we get down closer to our section. The water line on the fence. All the debris washed up. See a lot of it over here. These houses seem to fare pretty well. But if we're walking down toward Mullinger Walk, we are gonna have some fun, campers. I don't mean to be happy, but the water has gone down. And I gotta be honest, I'm glad to see it. If any of y'all live over in this area, I hope we showed you what you needed to see.